Okay, today we're going to look at a game called Europe Aflame, uh, made by TSR back in 1989. Again, this is a World War II simulation game. Uh, it comprises Europe from 1939 to the end of the war in 1945. Uh, one thing nice about the game, it does provide scenarios. So you can just, for example, play just the introductory game scenario of basically one round of uh, Germany invading Poland. Uh, and then, of course, they have the campaign game. Uh, the components are obviously comprised of a lot of different counters, some of which are on uh, standees. So for example, here's some uh, German infantry. Um, and then, of course, you have other just counters, for example, representing, here's the German bombers. And of course, you have French bombers. There's also Areas for uh, naval combat, and you can see here in the corner of the, of the map is the convoy box that's for destroyed units by the German submarines. Uh, and then, of course, over here you have transit box for uh, convert uh, moving both ships and troops from one area around the Horn of Africa. So again, you can see here this is a pretty large, colorful map, and. Uh, in this game, line of supply matters, and so does a terrain in the sense of movement cost and defense cost. So, for example, here's mountains that'll add to the defense. Uh, you can see they have different obstacles. Uh, imagine a line. And over here you have swampland. Those all influence both defense and movement. Uh, the map overall uh, also has areas so you can put troops, extra troops that are represented by other counters on the part of the map. And, of course, uh, there's uh, sections here for uh, a variety of different types of units. And also here's a U.S. production trap. Uh, over here the game comes with four 10-sided die, representing the two sides. In addition to the game components, there is of course, uh, it's a two to four player game, but it also has, or it has two uh, player aids, one for the Axis, one for the Allies. And you can see here it goes over the sequence of play. And of course, the different types of units, uh, their unit capabilities, uh, and of course, here's some player aids as far as both setup and during the game itself. And again, there's multiple scenarios you can play. Um, ultimately, this game, again, if I may have mentioned earlier, uh, it's probably complication level between somewhere uh, more hard, more complicated than Axis and Allies, but less than a game like Third Reich. This is the uh, rule book. Uh, not a review, but not a great rule book. I'll just say, it does have some nice, you know, little historical background and various things. Um, pretty detailed rule book, but kind of a little bit of a mess. Uh, but again, not a review. Uh, but again, you can see uh, there are some pictures as far as describing, in this case, attack and action phase. Overall, just a nice uh, little. Um, World War II simulation game. Again, this is Europe of Flame by TSR, uh, circa 1989.